Asif from the Emirates. Uh, Sheikh, my question is, uh, if there is a fear of menses for a woman uh, who goes on Hajj uh, on the 13th day, uh, and they are going to stay till like 20, 25th day, is it fine to do Tawaf al Vida on the 13th itself? Okay. Or should, should I, I will answer at the end of I will answer you, Asif, by The issue of Hajj is a very simple, yet a bit complicated for those who do not read and learn about it. And unfortunately, for most of us who performed it once every blue moon. Therefore, you have to revisit this. In Hajj, there are pillars which, if you avoid them, then your hajj is invalid. Among the pillars is a tawaf, one tawaf where you go around the Kaaba, and it's called tawaf al ifada or another name, tawaf al ziyara or tawaf al hajj. Three names for the same ritual, different names, but the same ritual, and it's a pillar. The timing of it is on the 10th of the hijjah, on the day of Eid, and it can be delayed on the 11th, 12th, 13th, up till the end of the Hijjah. Without it, you can not, if you're married, have intimacy with your spouse. Otherwise, you will be obliged to slaughter a sheep because you've committed uh, one of the restrictions of Hajj. There are two types of tahallul. The first one is the one that I can wear my normal clothes, wear uh, uh, perfume, clip my nails, get married, etc., blah, blah, blah. This is done when I throw the seven pebbles on the day of Eid and I shave my head. That's it. Boom. I can do that. Everything is permitted for me as a pilgrim, as a muhrim, except intimacy. If I perform tawaf al-hajj and the sa'i of hajj, which both are pillars, then now I can have intimacy with my spouse. If you did this on the 10th of the Hijjah, on the day of Eid, so you've accomplished the pillars, we come to a different type of tawaf known as tawaf al widar the farewell tawaf. And this is mandatory, where the Prophet said, if this is the last thing you do before leaving Mecca, back home, you have to offer seven rounds round the Kaaba, and this is called Tawaf al Wada. This particular Tawaf is mandatory. If you go home without doing it, you have to slaughter a sheep in Mecca and distribute the meat to the poor. But there are people who are exempted from doing it. Who? A woman in her menses. So if a woman, a woman already performed her pillar Tawaf al Ifada, Tawaf al Hajj, on the 10th or the 11th of uh, the Hijjah, then she waited until the 13th or the 14th or the 15th, and then wanted to go back home, but she is in her menses, we say to her, go in the safety of Allah Azza wa Jal, you are not obliged to perform it, there's no expiation, there's no sin on you. So I hope this answers your question.